This iOS 18.2 update, we have seen Apple introduce Apple Intelligence into Siri to make it smarter to give more personalized responses. Let me show you how it can be done. So to invoke Siri, you can just press and hold the power button. So over here, instead of typing, you're going to speak to Siri to send your request over. But in my case, I will just go with type to Siri. So to do so, all you have to do is just tap on the bottom of the screen twice. So I'll ask a series of questions that I thought would be interesting for you to see. So the first very simple one is more of a tutorial kind of question where we ask Siri how we can actually block someone from texting us. I think typically where you get this information from is either from Google or perhaps just trying to figure it out yourself in the messaging app. But in this case, because Siri has the ability to do so, to answer your question so might as well we just ask siri so in this case we have to be online so i'll just turn the wi-fi on so that we can actually get those answers from siri in this type of questions so we we'll just key in the uh, question again so in the meantime i just want to emphasize that there are many other tutorials kind of faq questions that you can ask siri regarding your iphone so for example, how do you edit photos and etc. So in this case, let's see the response from Siri. So over here, we have the step-by-step -step process and at the bottom actually quotes the iPhone user guide. So in this case, you can be assured that it is an official response from Siri in terms of uh, how you are going to block someone from texting you. So now let's head back. I will try something different this time around. We'll get ChatGPT to generate an output for us. In order to do so, when you invoke Siri, you actually have to type something at the start to say that you are going to use ChatGPT so that Siri knows where to get the information from. So we'll get ChatGPT to give us some ideas on what to buy for our uncle's birthday gift. So once you are done, you can just uh, submit the text and Siri will head over to ChatGPT to get the response. So you can just provide more information. In this case, you are le just letting it know that it's the 70th birthday so that it knows how to customize the gift for us. So after we send, we just wait a few moments for the response to load and it should be out very quickly. And so we have the list of uh, gifts this time around. So experience gift, hobby related items, so overall, I think this is a very good feature. You don't have this in the previous iterations of uh, Siri. And let me show you something interesting as well. So this is what we call in-context chatting. So where Siri actually remembers previous messages and is able to give you uh, follow-up responses based on your inputs subsequently. So in this case, if we say he likes flowers, then Siri will recommend us customized flower arrangement flower team experience for the birthday gift. So far, the chatting experience with Siri has been a perfect one. I don't see any challenges with uh, chatting with Siri and getting my output. So let us try something else. Instead of using ChatGPT for text generation, we are going to use it for image generation. So this time around, we'll get ChatGPT to generate a photo. So this is in comparison to the image playground that you have. So image playground, you might face some restrictions. I think when using ChatGPT, you have more freedom to do stuff. So in this case, we are using ChatGPT to generate a photo of a car gliding down the Pacific Ocean. So we'll see what kind of output Siri actually gives us. And let's just give it a few moments to let it look. So overall, it's not really gliding, but I, I like the photo so far. So the in-context chatting feature is still available here. So I'll just type in something to follow up because I want some birds to fly above and you can see whether uh, the photo is able to include the birds at the top. So yes, we did see the birds at the top and I think the angle of the shot kind of changed. Previously, we we're looking from the back of the car now it is from the front. So, so far so good. And now let's see whether ChatGPT can also 
uh, look at images within our screen. I think this is an important tool for it to have to understand what is showing on our screen, give us some description. So in this case, we want ChatGPT to understand the image to see what kind of ingredients are there in this pizza so that we can uh, make it on our own. So we we'll just see whether this capability is available on iOS 18.2. So once you're done, you just hit send. Okay. And then there will be a prompt for you to acknowledge whether you want to send this photo to ChatGPT. Of course, you want to send it over. And then we'll let ChatGPT do its thing, understand the photo. And yes, it actually understands that there are tomato sauce, cheese, pepperoni slices, parsley leaves within this photo. So we'll just do a follow-up question, you know, what are the steps to make it? I think it is a, a logical next step. After getting the ingredients list, you want to know how to actually make the pizza. So I'll just send the follow-up question and we'll just wait for Siri to load. And yes, there we go. So the first step is to prepare the dough. After that, preheat the oven, add the sauce, add the cheese. So you get the idea. So this is really where Siri excels in, where it's able to look at images of objects or even documents to understand what it is, such that you can ask questions based off it. Let me show you how you can enable the ChatGPT extension on Siri. So after you go to settings, you look for Apple Intelligence and Siri, and then you just scroll down, you just find the chat gpt extension so over here we just tap on it and make sure it is uh, turned on if you would like to sign in to use some uh, more features you can do so in my case i didn't sign so i just use it as it is so there is some daily limit and at the bottom you can also confirm chat gpt requests so i'll just head back and let me just show you something you have to make sure that the update is at 18.2 so over here because i didn't turn on my wi-fi so we didn't have that but in the about section your ios version should be at 18.2 in order for you to enable ChatGPT in siri so just make sure that you have updated your iphone otherwise you will not be able to see the extension for you to incorporate into siri and also let me just show you one thing so over here, earlier on, you saw me invoke Siri by typing to it. So this is uh, the setting to do so. And if you like to use the side button for Siri, you also have to turn it on. And if you like to invoke it with speech, there are options for you to do so at the top.